Haptic technology made by Immersion creates touch feedback on buttons, touch screens, and other touch responsive surfaces. Haptics add intuitive feedback that makes the user experience easier to use, intuitive, and helpful. This is especially important in the car where ease of use and safety are closely tied together. Now we're going to show you a demo of how haptics can be used in a car touchscreen to improve the user experience. This demo unit has multi-level haptics. The haptic system is mounted in a suspended touchscreen and then attached to a heavy base to simulate its weight and position in a car. The demo unit is using TDK PowerHap piezo actuators with Immersion's active sensing technology. Now let's go into the demo, starting with the most common use case, buttons. These lock and unlock buttons are just simple graphics on a flat touchscreen, but with haptics, they feel like real button pushes. And they can be programmed with different variations to feel like a button click, a button smush, or anything in between. To get that true button feel, you'll need precise control over the haptic system to tell it when to stop vibrating. This creates the crispness at the end of each button press. Without it, you'd get a vibration tail and a button that feels just kind of buzzy. The second example on the same screen is the temperature increase. On an increase button like this one, haptics can be used with single increase or as sequential ticks to represent a steady increase. And a more distinct haptic effect can be added to the end to communicate to the user that they've reached the max. Going to the top of the screen, haptics can be added to the UI to show movement. On the map screen, we're using one finger drag to move the map around. As I do this, I feel the haptics move under my finger, and this gives me the illusion that the screen is moving according to the direction of my fingers. I can also navigate the screen with two fingers on the map, like I would with my mobile device. This shows that in one section on a single screen and with the same UI, we can create distinctive feelings for drag, pinch outwards, and pinch inwards, three distinct haptic designs, making the touch screen feel interactive and responsive. The second screen on this demo takes you to a UI where you can explore a new haptic design with textures. The top screen is enhanced with a consistent low frequency haptic effect that decreases as you get closer to the circle, sort of like a valley. The bottom screen does the opposite. The haptic starting off at a zero to low frequency gets stronger as you move toward the circle in the middle, a peak. These haptic designs can be used on large touchscreens to help the user navigate open spaces so that they're less reliant on looking to find the UI controls. The right side of the screen mimics a traditional dial with a modernized twist. As I move around the circle, I can feel the individual dial turns of the traditional dial. This top dial features smaller individual ticks of the dial turn. The bottom dial features larger heavy ticks of the dial turn for dials that go from 1 to 10 instead of 1 to 20. Now for the modernization. I can touch any part of the dials to activate a quick return. With the quick return, I can feel all of the clicks speedily return to the location of my finger. The dial also acts like a big button. Push it in the middle to turn it off or on. The haptics give it a heavy thump to make it feel more like a big button push and less like a flat screen. So in this use case, we've added three different haptic design possibilities to a single dial, all of them very important to making that dial easier for the user to use. Now let's go back to the main screen of our demo for the last haptic design examples, the music play section. Haptics is used for the volume slider bar. You can tap to mute, or jump to a specific volume level on the slider bar. Haptics in this demo get heavier as the volume gets louder to show the connected relationship between haptics, the volume, and the UI. And of course, at the bottom, haptics is used for pause and play buttons, next to previous song, and fast forward and jump forward control. The haptics mimic the feeling of fast forwarding on a tape recorder, which is a delightful fun addition. Again, this demo shows the possibility to create multi-level haptics on a single touchscreen using one haptic implementation made possible with precise control of Immersion's active sensing technology and TDK's PowerHap piezo actuators.
We hope you enjoyed this demo video.